Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hey guys, I thought of bringing this problem to you. It's uh, not really a word problem, but it also falls under word problems, whereby you have to analyze the statement that you're given. And from the statement that you're given with the diagram that you're given, you need to come up with some equations. And sometimes it's a simultaneous equation. And then you need to find whatever is needed. For example, let us look at this uh, question given below. It says, consider figure one, which means the diagram below, it says the rectangular garden is six meters by four meters. So we have a rectangular, a rectangular garden. And if you look at the diagram below, you can see they already shown you the six, which is in meters and the four there. And then it says, is surrounded by a path of uniform width. So they are telling you that the path of uniform width, that path, if you can look at the uh, the dimensions, they added the X and the X there. If the area, there is the part, if the area, if the area of the path, you see they're giving us the area of the path is 56 uh, square meters. What is, is, what is it, its width? In other words, what is the width of this path? So what we're having let me try to yes i think that's good size there now what they're saying is you are given a path if i can use a marker here so this particular path here this is the path that they are talking about so people are walking along uh, this particular area here i hope you are able to see what i'm talking about so now this is the part they are talking about they are saying it is uniform width so now what you need to do is for you to be able to interpret the statement so now the first part is you need to understand that from this point here to that point that distance there is four meters and also from this point to this point they said it is six meters now if from here to here according to them they are saying it is uniform so it is x you've got um x there similarly from this side to that side it is x so which means if i asked you what is the distance from here to there this particular distance here you have to add x plus 4 plus x. That's what you're doing, which is x plus x, which is 2x plus 4. That is that distance, uh, the way you, you get that. Similarly, from here to here, actually, um, it would have been good if I do it inside. If from, okay, that is fine. If from here to there, like this is x they say it, it's uniform path and also from this point to that point is x and we know that is six so if i say what is the distance which is similar remember this is a rectangular so what is the distance from there to there which means it is this x plus the six plus the x Again, it will be 2x plus 6. So that's what I'm, 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 I'm deriving from the statement. And then they are saying, 
the area of the path. Now what I've just shaded is the path. So the area of that particular path they told it, told us is 56 square um, meters or meters squared. Now what is the width? That is the question there. It says what is the width? So how do I approach this part? The moment they're dealing with area, it means you have to find the area. So I can come up with two areas if I can just do this. So I've got this part of the, the shape. Um, let me look. I don't know whether this way. Yes, I've got this part of the shape, but this is too bright. Let me choose that color and see if it. Yes. So I've got the inner part. As you can see so I want to find the area of the inner part now the area is a rectangle which is uh, not complicated now area of they call this it's um, a garden so this is the garden what I've just so I was supposed to use actually green there if ever you know you're talking about a garden so you expect the garden to be like green so let's say this is the garden you know just to use a uh, real color so if I want to find area of garden um, to find the area of the garden is equal to it's a it's a rectangle length times width or breadth and the length is 6 and the breadth is 4 which is equal to 24 meter squared so that is the area of that rectangular uh, part now the next part now that I need to do is there is no way I can just found the area of the path but I need to find the area of this whole shape that I'm, 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 I'm putting the red lines now the area of this whole shape it's um, length times width again area of whole shape is equal to length times width which is equal to my length is 2x plus 6 and my width is 2x plus 4 do you see where it's leading that is the area of that so when i have managed to do that then i will tie everything together they said the area of the path they gave us the area of the path as 56 so how do i find the area of the path so area of path here so area of path is equal to area of the whole area of whole shape that i did right minus area of garden that is how I simple find the area of the path I separate the area of that whole shape and take out the part of the garden that is green I'll find if I take out if I remove or cut this green part here as you can see uh, with my red if I remove and cut it off like this I will remove I will remain only with the path around which is blue so now if I continue from there so now the area of the path remember the area of uh, area of path which they say it was 56 uh, if I check they say it area of path is 56 so in this case 56 is equal to and then the area of the whole shape is the 2x plus 6 and 2x plus 4 because it's length times breadth remember there is a times and then minus 24 that's what is happening there then I can expand this part to say this times uh, remember now it's a matter of expanding this times that and this times that bracket which is equal to 2x multiplying 2x plus 4 plus 6 multiplying 2x plus 4 minus 24 
and this will give me 56 so it's now your algebra here whereby you continue solving for x now 2 times x and 2 times 4 now 2 times 2x is 4x squared now 2x times 4 is plus 8 uh, in this case plus 8x right plus 6 times 2 is 12x 6 times 4 plus 24 minus 24 so here the 24 and 24 you can get rid like that and then if you continue to solve uh, this part you will have 56 is equal to 4x squared now 8 plus 12 is 20x now you have to arrange this equation you see if, if you have got a squared you have got x and a number you must remember this now is a quadratic equation all right so a quadratic equation when you arrange it it must be a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero that is how you have to arrange it so one easier and simpler way is to take this 56 already to join that number there so that you've got zero is equal to 4x squared plus 20x then the 56 becomes minus 56 when you have done that then you do that to say i'm i'm rearranging it so that i've got 4x squared plus 20x minus 56 this gives you a zero so you can see that now you have managed to match this particular quadratic equation to the general equation this is the general quadratic equation all right so when you've done that it is up to you you can divide by four 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 is up to you or you can use the quadratic equation um immediately here whereby the quadratic equation you have to identify your a remember you are matching a is 4 there you can see the b matches with the plus 20, 20 there and the c matches with the minus 56 so you have got your a being 4 your b being 20 your c being negative 56 the quadratic equation can just be inputted in that so that you've got x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a all right so now um i'm using it intentionally instead of using the product sum because i wanted to get used to this one so it's minus the b is 20 there put a bracket and you put the 20 plus or minus square root of b squared is 20 squared minus 4 your a there is 4 and your c there is minus 56 okay and then you divide everything by 2 and your a there is your 4 your calculator definitely will come handy there so that you have two values of x so if you use a calculator it will be um minus 20 put in brackets all right plus square root of bracket 20 squared 20 squared minus 4 my a is 4 my c is negative 56 all right and then go down 2 into 4 if we do that we get our first value x is equal to 2 we play back put a negative now and x is equal to minus 7 so x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 7 so we've got two values of x now what you need to do let's go back to our statement and our statement says consider figure a rectangular garden of uh, 4 meters by uh, blah 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 so we are talking of a physical rectangle rectangular garden so 
what you need to understand is there is no way you can have a negative length so you are going to say x cannot be so x cannot be equal to negative 7 so the only answer you have is x is equal to um 2 so when you do that you come back to your original the question is find the width of this garden what is the width and the width remember of the garden was 2x plus 4 so you are able now to say width is equal to 2x plus 4 and x we say it is 2 which is 2 2 plus 4 now 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 8 meters we can even find the length of the garden the length was 2x plus 6 which is equal to 2 2 plus 6 which is equal to 10 now you can see that if we put a negative 7 here we are going to have uh, a negative 7 here was going to be ne minus 14 plus 4 giving you a negative uh, length there is no way you can get a negative length so hence the answer must always take a positive so the question was interested in the width so you're going to say width is equal to 8 meters so this is where the limit of your answer was supposed to end I was just giving you the length so that you can see that sometimes they'll say find the length and the width of that particular um, shape so now i hope this uh, was making sense and in as much as it looks long this was i think five marks i know it looks long whereby you have to come up with equations and then after that you have to go on to solve a quadratic equation it looks long but five marks sometimes you have to work for it in an exam and i will encourage you to practice with such problems because they give you or they solidify your mathematics so that whenever they bring something even a little bit more trickier you are able to uh, solve it without difficulty now if you are benefiting from these videos and if you are finding that they are helping you prepare helping you a lot to prepare for your final exam i will encourage you to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed or if um, you haven't liked this video please like our videos so that more people can see it remember the way google works if they see that more people are benefiting from it, then they uh, they push this video to the top so that more can watch it. And the more you do that, the more we see that this video is beneficial to our students. And also, you can even forward this video to your friend through your WhatsApp, WhatsApp or your Facebook. You can use the forward button. You know how to do that. And then they'll be able to watch it also and subscribe to the channel. I hope this was of benefit to you. See you again in the uh, next lesson. And... Just check out part one and part two of these word problems because they are some of the problems that I'm also discussing which can be of benefit to you. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and If you want them you can check all the information from our website and Trust me these will become very handy to you uh, We sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try Thank you